Hey everybody, the Bond guest back. Welcome to part 34 of Let's Play Bloodborne. Okay, I made it back to Hunter's Nightmare where you start the DLC. And I think I know where I need to go use that skull that I picked up. You know, the one that says like the skull of Lawrence or whatever. We gotta head back to the Grand Cathedral where that flaming corpse was. And then we can actually uh, make use of it. So unfortunately, we have to run all the way back up there again. Which is kind of annoying because there's like, no bonfire right next to it. Which means, unfortunately, you have to wait until this door opens, and then you can go in there. All while I have like other enemies chasing me as well. And I just dodged an attack, that's good. Alright, so I believe I'm supposed to go all the way over here. With the skull. And that should trigger something. I figured I'd just switch out the sedatives and go with bolt paper, just in case. I don't know if bolt paper will help, but sure. I think he was okay the way he was. Alright, so we got a palette swap, or at least an upgraded version of the Cleric Beast. Say hello to Lawrence, the first vicar. This is not even a mandatory boss, either. Okay, I'm using up too much of my stamina. Yeah, what makes this boss a little bit tougher than Cleric Beast? There's fire everywhere. And I didn't... I actually rolled right into the attack. So I didn't even get a chance to heal once. Well, that fight lasted a lot less than the time it took to even get to the boss. So unfortunately, you have to make that run all the way from the first lantern, go up the stairs, go deal with a bunch of enemies, Wait for the boulder to fall, wait for the door to open, run past the big white guy, and then you fight the boss. Don't you love when you gotta go through like the same run around over and over? Just to face a boss that will kill you in much less time than it took to get there. And you may or may not take a hit along the way. Oh, I certainly love that. And the sad thing, that, that big ball takes up the whole set of stairs. Okay, that was dumb. Great. Now I have to use a vial already. That's not what I hope to do. Luckily, I didn't have a lot of echoes either, so I'm not in a hurry to pick that up. Oof. Okay, slow your roll there, Lawrence. Okay, slow your roll, Lawrence. Somehow the 
first attempt went better because I actually got to hit it more. Uh oh. Is that gonna be an AoE? Nope, just a couple slams. Jesus. God, he has such reach! Look at this! Like, if you're too close, he'll just do a slam. And if you're too far, he's just gonna swipe. Like that, see? Oh my god, he just spammed swipe! He just spammed it! That's all he did for that second phase. And he hit me all four times. <laughs> Good thing this is optional, because it could be tougher than Orphan. Not that much better, but I'm more likely to hit it. Yeah, I knew that grab was coming. I remember the Cleric Beast fight. Oh my god, I was dodging and somehow he still hit me all three times. Oof, okay, when it puts it right, the fist in the ground, that's when you really gotta run. Oh my god, it did it again! The th freaking swipes! And I still can't dodge it! Oh, I just gotta get my timing right on that attack. So that's three times I died to this one. I think that's more times I've died to this boss than any other boss in the DLC. Orphan was twice, I think. So yeah, that goes to show you, this guy does not mess around. Oh, this, this might end up being the whole video. I would not be surprised. This will be the entire video. Just me having to face this one boss. I'm calling it. Okay, good, good. Oh! He's stumbling! Oh, Jesus! Did I even get to heal? Oh my god! I was that close to healing and he got me right at this exact frame! Oh! I had triangle pressed! And he couldn't even get the heal in fast enough! Oh, you asshole! I could have gotten away. He like he gives you no healing opportunities because he just goes ham. Oh, I almost took off a hat altogether. Okay, this is actually the best hat I have for fire defense. This does defense of 120. This does 90. I think I'm going to go with the old Hunter armbands. I don't think it's... I think the difference will be negligible. I don't want to go with Wine Hakama. Maybe Bone Ash Leggings? Yeah, we'll go with Bone Ash Leggings. Now this looks like a mess. I mean, I'm going to end up tripping on my own leggings. I mean, look. It's like something you see at a, uh, God knows what. It's almost like parachute pants if you just rip them up.
it's just very annoying that every time I get a hit on him is when the exact time he's ready to move. Every time now. Without fail. It looks like I have a good chance to go after him if I'm really far away. Because he'll try to do a swipe. Like, a long-range swipe. And I could get him in the legs. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, I'll just reapply it again. He's just getting a bit clumsy. Like, he just keeps falling. Oh my god! He got me again! The same combo! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Flick the arms! Gets me every time! I can't think of any other attack that this guy has used that's killed me. I think... I wouldn't say every single kill, but maybe all but one has been... The swipe. Usually two or three in a row. Every time. And then I end up mistiming my dodge so I'm still in staggering. Oh, this camera. Oh, might have to lock on. There we go. Second swipe, I just miss time constantly. First one, I might do okay. Then after that, it's just, what am I doing? And the flames linger, that's what makes it harder to dodge. Move, move. Oh, I thought he was gonna do the first blue. guy that's so big. He really is. That's what Soulsborne games do. It's like, do you get a boss that's really big? Or do you get a big get a boss that's really fast? How about you get both? With attacks that can be all over the place. Like this. Oh. I couldn't dodge fast enough. Come on. the hitbox centers on his torso even though I'm obviously aiming at the legs. It gets a bit weird when you're in lock-on. Am I in phase three? I didn't even know there was a phase three that fast. Move, move, move! Thank you! He only has half his health gone. And I'm not even close to winning. Now what?
Now it's got no. Now it's got no legs. What? Okay, this is kind of fucked. Oh, get out of the corner. There you go. Oh, it spits lava. This is the floor's lava on steroids. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Every time it it hits the ground with its hands, it's going to do a lot of damage. What's happening? Uh. Oh my god. No. Oh, there's the blood of Adeline. Get that ready. Uh. So I'm gonna have to do like maybe one or two hits at a time and hope that I. Do ah! That doesn't happen! Oh. Oh. Oh my god, my hands are trembling. Did I do it? I think I did it. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, I'm trembling. Holy shit. <laughs> See, where were you when I needed you earlier? <laughs> I got the beast entrance rune. Oh, it's it's one of those. Temporary boost to transform plus 15. I never even used it. Not once. So the rune is not going to be of any use to me now. Oh my god, I finally did it. Okay, that one took a lot out of me. It really did. But once I got to that last phase, I knew I had to be extremely cautious. Oh, oh, oh my god, because I didn't want to do all that again. I really didn't. But at the end of the day, after quite a few tries, I persevered. Alright, so I guess, like, outside of maybe some knickknacks here and there, maybe just, you know, other chalice dungeons that, again, I'm not gonna bother with. Even though some of them do have new bosses, if I did all the chalice dungeons, it would be like the same, sometimes the same kind of layouts. Sure, there's might be different bosses, but it would take way too long. In fact, I'm pretty sure it could double the length of this Let's Play, just doing those alone. Alright, so I think the best thing for me to do is finally start using some of these... Trying to get some items out of it. Oh wow, I can get the Maria Guard. I know I can do that. Great admiration for Garman, unaware of his current mania. Oh yeah. Could you imagine if I uh, tried to talk to Garman with the uh, with the Maria garb? 
seeing as how he is waiting for me. I feel like I um, might want to do that just for the lols. But I gotta remember, before I go talk to him, there was something about those umbilical cords. So before I forget, let me use one now. I use one. Then I'll use the second one. Then I'll use the third one. There we go. Also, before we go into what could be the final fight, I might want to get Yosefka's blood ball ready. Just in case. Adeline from the research lab had to give some brain fluid and to think somehow she saved me from a dire fate. Alright, so I guess I'll stop here and in the next part, barring any knickknacks aside to start off, we'll probably pay Garman a visit. Seems how he should be probably around here. See everyone, thanks for watching.